Hey everybody, just be here. You know, I've been kind of neglecting these fruit trees I bought last fall, but the cows haven't. Uh, came out today and noticed this. I got one of them snapped off. And if you notice, cows have been trimming them down for me. There's hardly nothing to them. branches but oh well I mean it's not a lesson I wanted to learn but you gotta figure figure that the cows like to eat trees they eat leaves just like to eat grass I mean I got all these if they can reach it they eat it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to graft this back together because I mean it's it just happened within the last couple days and they're still green green on here and hopefully we still have a nice enough nice weather that it will heal itself before winter hits but i mean the worst that happens is yeah yeah the worst that happens is i gotta buy a new tree not that i want to but all right i'm gonna put the phone down and i'll I'll show you the next step because we're gonna have to try to we got it's nice and cracked here so I'm probably gonna have to cut it down a ways and then uh, yeah I'll get back with you yeah sitting here looking at the tree looks like it's been rubbed down quite a ways so I think I'm gonna cut it down here. It's a little lower than I want to go, but that that's actually okay because I should put my graft right in uh, in this tube. So hopefully that'll help hold it up. All right, now we're gonna cut it down. We're gonna have to trim this one down too. We'll probably cut it right about here. I have no clue what I'm really doing. I'm just trying it out kind of watched a couple videos on grafting and I'm hoping it works so this wasn't a waste to <laughs> what would this tree cost me like 90 bucks I don't think it was quite that much I think I got it on sale for like 60 <laughs> but we'll show you the next step stay tuned well I trimmed the trees down now uh, we're gonna be out the bottom make it so they're because obviously you can't just well i guess you, if you really want to use a bunch of tape or something you can do it like this but it's recommended to get as much of the oh, i don't know what they call it as much of the inside touching as possible so we're gonna we're gonna be this down and we're gonna notch this out notch this one out here so we can put the two together I got uh, I couldn't feel my, find my uh, my gorilla tape, so I just got some regular old tape here. But we'll end up using like a stick or something, to kind of brace it. And then it was recommended we use some kind of glue just to seal it so air keeps out. And uh, yeah, hopefully it works, but. I'm gonna notch it out and get it ready to put together here. Well, hey everybody, it's getting dark out. <laughs> I didn't do the best at uh, at, at trimming that. I kind of cracked it out there, but I got this trimmed like a V, so hopefully that'll work. If you guys know better, let me know. When I trim this one down too, get that stuff exposed. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Well, I think I'm going to go the opposite way, but we'll go like that. Yeah, I might trim it up a little bit more just to get a better fit. And yeah, sorry, it's getting dark out. It's that time of year. It's getting dark early. Sucks, but I think if I, uh, well, if I put that in there like that 
I'm gonna take a stick here or something, tape it around there, just get it kind of sealed up good. Use a stick as a brace, probably on both sides. Tape it at the top, tape it at the bottom, and then I'm gonna try to seal up that middle a little bit. I don't know, maybe if I just tape it. I think if I just tape it all the way around, that'll keep the moisture in because you don't want it drying out and dying. So that, that's our next step. We're going to brace it and tape it and hopefully she holds and hopefully well, you can't see them over there because it's too dark with that darn cow or that cow. They just break down my fences. But it wasn't, it wasn't really it was more of a visual fence than anything, so yeah, that's my own fault. All right, we're gonna try to finish this before it gets too dark. Well, <laughs> too late. Well, <laughs> didn't quite go as planned. I didn't use the wood glue to seal it up. I figured I got enough freaking tape on here. That's to keep the moisture in. That's, that's where you're trying to keep the air out, keep the moisture in, so it'll seal. I got a couple of I did a couple layers of tape. I went overboard on the tape, but I did a couple layers of tape. And then I put two little sticks in there. You can't, I uh, might be able to see you like this one, and there's another one on the other side. And then uh, I wrapped it around, and then I put this big one in there and taped it some more. So I'm trying to keep it from, like right now it's windy out. She's kind of leaning too, so yeah, whatever. It is what it is. If it survives, it survives. That's, that's the goal, is to keep it from dying, but we're gonna put this thing back on, so maybe that'll, that's kind of right about the display, so maybe that'll help a little bit, but. Well, whatever, I mean, hey guys. That's my attempt at grafting this tree back together. You can see that it's kind of ate up here too. I just gotta, I gotta fix the fence around here. Keep the cows out. Hopefully this tree will survive. I mean, it still has green leaves on it. So it's still alive. We got a few more warm days. I'll make sure to get out here and even if, even if the top doesn't survive, maybe the bottom will if it's rooted good enough. I don't know. I'm not much of a what do you call it, an arborist? I'm just trying to keep it alive because I don't like wasting money on stuff that, yeah. I didn't expect this to have fruit this year, but I didn't expect the cows to kill it either. But hey, everybody, it's just me living. Some, always something, always something. You guys have a great night. Uh, Thankful for you watching. Share. Get your friends to watch. We'll find something new to do. Always something to do. Always something to do. Just be living. I'm out. Have a great night.